I think when it really comes down to it, uh, really everything else as well, it all comes down to energy. And this can be any kind of healing through, um, usually through some kind of purge, through crying, through pain, through, you know, through vomiting, through excretion down the other direction. Uh, it can come through really anything that you have sweating. I don't know, lots of ways. Okay. Um, and this can be uh, healing anything from trauma from childhood, or it can be, you know, just a simple, um, you know, healing from working out. It doesn't matter. It's a, an exchange of energy. And um, I have a great analogy for it that I've been thinking about. And I wanted to tell everybody because I think it's pretty cool. So if you picture a, uh, a container that has a certain amount of um, air in there, it's pressurized air, okay? And this pressurized air has a, has a gauge on it that, um, that maintains a specific amount of air, or let's say the air is energy, okay? So, you know, say, let's say it, uh, it's, it requires 100 PSI in there, you know, at all times. Now, when energy can release and energy can, you know, be put back in. Now there's two different kinds of energy. There's positive and negative. Um, being a massage therapist, uh, when it comes down to the core, what I do is I release the negative energy and through my energy work, I replace it with positive energy. Okay, so we're keeping it full. Um, we never wanna leave it empty because generally speaking, um, if we if we take the negative energy out or if we release the negative energy somehow It'll automatically be replaced with what it's used to having there So if you have a lot of negative energy, say you have, a, you have a lot of tension in your body, right? If you release a bunch of that negative energy and you don't do anything about it You just keep going, going about your business Negative energy is going to come back in and retighten up all that tissue and make it, you know bring the problem right back it, because it takes conscious effort consistently to be able to transmute that and change it into positive energy. But the good thing is, is that when you work out, when you make it a lifestyle, when you when you keep up with the with the healing and the therapy, and you and you maintain that balance, and you work to bring more positive energy in consistently, then the body will actually change and start to get used to that positive energy being in there. So then it'll start to hold on to that positive energy and it won't let it go. And, and that'll get greater and greater and greater as you keep doing it. Now, with things like plant medicine, say ayahuasca, right? Um, say with the massage, you know, we release five pounds, uh, five PSI, right? And, you know, we replace it with five PSI of positive energy. That's gonna feel great for a couple days, but over but over time, the body's natural response, if you're not eating right, and if you're not foam rolling, if you're not stretching, if you're not working out, if you're not opening up that tissue and getting blood flow in there, okay, it's gonna, it, over a couple days, it's gonna come right back in. The more that you treat your body well and your mind well, um, the longer it's gonna last. Then you come back, you get more body work done, and it's gonna enhance that and keep building on itself. And it has sort of a saturation effect. So the more you do it, the longer you do it, the more effective it's gonna become. Now something like ayahuasca, that will take about 90% of the negative PSI and purge the crap out of it, okay? You're, you're sucking all the negative energy out and you're bringing all this positive energy in, you're filling it up and you feel like a brand new person. Everything is absolutely amazing. Now here's the thing, with that comes sort of a vulnerability. Okay, you're having all this real high vibration energy in you, but you're like an exposed nerve because your body's not used to, it before, uh, used to it. You're like, what the hell's going on with my body, with my mind? I feel great, but I don't know. Like, I'm afraid the other shoe's gonna drop. Well, if you're afraid the other shoe's gonna drop, then eventually it's gonna drop. <laughs> and then you get back into your routine and then it just starts coming back in, but now you're more sensitive to it because you felt the other side. And that negative energy starts coming back in, it feels 10 times worse, right? So that daily work, that lifestyle, just like, just like working out, it's like getting ready for a contest, but for life, to hold that higher vibration consistently, you have to put in the work. You can't just you know do it and then hope it's gonna fix everything. Whether it be massage, whether it be working out, or whether it be you know nutrition, or you know whether it be plant medicine, whatever the case is, whatever you decide to do, having a balance of all of them, 
um, you know, together, doing them like 80% is much better than just doing two of them at 100%, because that's actually gonna enhance the imbalance of the energy and actually bring more negative energy in in the other areas because you're neglecting them. You know, it's like if you're doing security in a house and you're only, you know, and, and, and you're only watching two sides of the house, the other two sides are vulnerable. So if something comes in there, you're screwed, right? It's hitting you from, you know, your six and you don't want that. No, you don't want it. So I hope that makes sense. I hope it helps. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.